Today we're going to continue adding and subtracting algebraic terms. So we are now in 3.3 .3 in the textbook on page 145. So if you would have your textbook open and your spiral, we're going to be copying down about 10 examples today. So to start with, the first example here you can see is done in a bar motto. Algebraic expressions may include more than two terms. Not all terms may be like terms. A bar model can help you simplify expressions such as 2 tenths x plus 5 tenths x plus 2. So you can see here the dark orange is, represents the 2 out of the 10 boxes that are 2 tenths x. The lighter orange represents 5 out of the 10 boxes being shaded for 5 tenths x. And the single or the separate bar over here that represents the two, as in two whole units. Like things are these tenths that have the x term on them. Those are like terms. Those can be added together. And when we simplify this expression, we get two tenths x plus five tenths x gives us seven tenths x. In our constant, our numeral constant 2, is stays separate from that because it's not a like term. So our answer is the binomial 7 tenths x plus 2. But you do not have to use bar models always, and we haven't been in class. We've been adding our like terms following our integer rules. So we don't have to use bar models to simplify our expressions. To simplify them, we've been identifying the like terms and combining the like terms using our integer rules. So example number one, there are 10 of them and I would like you to copy the ones that I'm going to do with you into your spiral. So please copy number one. 16x plus negative 8 plus 23x. Well, I see two x terms here. 16x plus 23x, I can combine that, and I get 39x plus my negative 8 does not have an x on it. So that's my numerical constant that just stays over by itself separate. It does not combine with my 39x. So my answer is the binomial 39x plus negative 8. Example 2 is worked out in the book, so you can look at it, and they did draw it out in bar models. That's why it's in this box here. It is worked out in the book on page 146 if you want to look at the model while we're doing it. 1 and 2 tenths p plus 1 tenth p plus 4. Well, my p terms are my like terms. Those I can add. And lining up my decimal points, I get 2 plus 1 gives me 3, and 1 and 0 here gives me 1 and 3 tenths. So I have 1 and 3 tenths p, putting those like terms together, plus 4, which is not like the others. Example number 3. 1 half x minus 1 fourth x plus 5 plus 2. Well, now I have two kinds of like terms. I have an x-like term, and I have numerical constants that can be added together. So my numerical coefficients of my x term are not common denominators. So I have to first make them into common denominators. And I know 1 half x is the same thing as 2 fourths x minus 1 fourth x, and I'm going to add my numbers, 5 plus 2, together to get plus 7. So now, 2 fourths x minus 1 fourth x, they do combine. I get 1 fourth x. And the plus 7 remains separate because it's not a like term. So that expression simplifies to 1 fourth x plus 7. Number 4 is quite long. And yes, it has more than 2 on like terms. So we have 5x negative 15x, those are like, we have 4y's and negative 12y's, which are like, then I have a z term, which is unlike the x and the y term, so it doesn't combine with those, 
and then I have the constant 9 over here. So I have four unlike terms. Some of them are like, and I can combine them. 5x minus a negative 15x. When I go to put those together, keep, add the opposite. I have to follow my integer rules. So that becomes 5x plus 15x, which gives me 20x. My 4y can combine with my negative 12y. Different signs, subtract. 12 take away 4 is 8. Keep the sign of the larger absolute value, which is that negative 12, so I get negative 8y's. My negative 7z's do not combine with anything, because z is a different letter, different variable than the x and the y, and the 9 does not combine with anything. So I get the polynomial answer 20x minus 8y's minus 7z's plus 9. So you can see on this page that I have six more examples. I would like you to copy these down and follow along with me. This is what we'll be practicing in class tomorrow. Number 9 is worked out in the textbook. Um, so if you wanted to actually follow that one in the book as well, that's on page 148 when I get there. So these are, can be found on pages 147 through 151. 147 through 151 in your textbook. Number five, a half g minus two fifths g. Those are like terms, but do not have a common denominator. Plus eight minus three. Well, those are like terms, so I can combine those. I'm going to make my one-half g and two-fifths g and two-tenths, my common denominator. One-half is five-tenths g minus two-fifths is four-tenths g. And my eight and my minus three combined to give me five. So five-tenths g minus four-tenths g gives me one-tenth g when I subtract those like terms, plus 5. So in simplified form, that expression is the binomial 1 tenth g plus 5. Number 6, 5 tenths k plus 3 tenths k plus 1 and 2 tenths k. They're all k's. All three of those can be added together. Be careful that you're lining up your decimal points. So when I add 5 and 3 is 8 and 2 makes 10, carry over that 1, I get 2 and no tenths k, which I can just write that as 2k. And that's my answer. There are no other terms in that uh, monomial answer. That's a monomial, a single term answer. 5ms is like 2x. So I'm looking for my like terms first. And Positive 7 is like positive 2. That's a constant. So I'm going to put my algebra terms together first. 5ms plus 2ms is 7ms. And my constants together next. 7 plus 2 makes 9. Number 8. Looking for my like terms first, I have 3x minus 2x. Notice that I underlined that sign minus 2x. That is a minus 2x. So make sure you're bringing along this sign with your 2x. 3x minus 2x gives me 1x. I can write that as 1x or I can just say x. They both mean 1x. And 2y's take away 3y's. 2y's take away 3y's. So that's like the expression 2y's take away 3y's. Add the opposite. 2y's and negative 3y's combine to give me negative 1y. And again, I can show that 1 there or not. I can just say x minus y, which means 1x minus 1y. Number 9 is worked out in the book on page 148. So this one, this example, is worked out for you. And again, it's similar to number 6 in that all the terms in the problem are like. We have x on each one of those. 
8 tenths x plus 4 tenths x plus 1 tenth x. And again, being careful to line up your decimal points. 8 and 4 is 12, and 1 more makes 13. Carry that 1 over, bring down that decimal point. I get 1 and 3 tenths x. It's not x cubed. It's just x. I'm just adding more x. X is like more xylophones you could think of. It's not xylophones cubed. Um, that's a common mistake by students is to put a power on the common constant variable there. So it's just 1 and 3 tenths x. Number 10, 3 sevenths x minus 2 sevenths x. So those are like terms, my x's, and they have common denominator. 3 sevenths x minus, yes, that's minus 2 sevenths x, gives me 1 seventh x. 3 fifths minus 2 fifths, yes, that is minus 2 fifths. 3 fifths minus 2 fifths, 1 fifth. So my binomial answer is 1 seventh x plus 1 fifth. That's it for today. We'll go over several more of these in class. If you have any questions, please raise your hand at the beginning of class. If you um, need to go pause or go back and replay any of this, please feel free to do that as well.